Welcome to Frozen or Boxed. My name is Michael, your fast food foodie, taking you on the journey of either frozen foods or prepared boxed foods. Today, let's see what the magic cabinet has for us today. That's interesting. Campbell's Sauces Skillet Thai Curry. It says 20% more. I don't know, 20% more of... Okay, so back from the market and ended up getting some chicken tenders, which I guess I can cut those up. Um, it said it asks for basically a pound of chicken. I got 0.91 pounds, so it's, it's around a pound there. Okay, this is, this is a pain in the butt to be able to do because now I have to cook chicken, I have to put it in a skillet. This is definitely not the easy stuff like putting it into a microwave. So um, this boxed one is going to be a little bit more complicated. But let's go to nutrition first. Um, 70 calories for serving container 5, so 350 calories. Sodium 17%, so it's not too salty. And um, what you have to do is um, heat the oil in a skillet over medium heat. Add chicken until brown. And then in the sauce, heat to a boil, reduce heat to low, cook over five minutes until ch um, chicken is thoroughly cooked. Okay, so now I have to find a skillet. Ah! Right, the cats are hovering around. This all squared away. And then we'll start the cooking. Just on me, I think this is a skillet. This is gonna be the closest I'll get to it. At least it's um, a taller one. And it says put a tablespoon of vegetable oil. So I'll just take a tablespoon of this. I'm not really going to measure it out, I'm just going to assume it's around the tablespoon, there. And um, the key thing is to keep, um, they said that I have the chicken brown before we put it into the sauce. So I'm uh, cooking until then, and let's hope it all goes well. Okay, so I have the chicken pieces right here. I'm just going to put them into the, the pan until it gets brown. And then what we'll do next is we'll put into the sauce right after that. Um, I, unfortunately, I was able to buy these already cut. I think they probably wanted them a little smaller, but that means another step. This is probably just easier. So this is all pre-cut. And um, you can hear in the background that chicken turning brown. And let's see how it's doing. Looks good. Looks brown. What we'll do next is stir in the sauce. Basically, it's so stir it in and then heat to a boil. The nice thing about this is they had a little notch here. It makes it really easy to open up, unlike some other packages we've dealt with in the past. Let's see how easy it is. Yep, it does, and smells like chicken curry. Okay, so the chicken has been simmering for more than five minutes, mainly because even though it says on the back five minutes, um, the reality is is that these were bigger chicken pieces, so I just want to make sure that they're cooked thoroughly. So let's give it a shot to see. Um, first of all, let's see what it looks like compared to take a look at this. And let's see what it looks like in the pan. By the way, you can't tell from here, but it smells amazing. You can smell the curry. And here we have it. It's bubbling. It looks good. Smells good. Now we'll see. We'll do the the taste test here. Let's see how this works out. Let's get one of my utensils. Get one of these, the tongs, and try a piece of the chicken. Let's try this one. Looks good. It looks like it's done thoroughly. It's hot. Oh god. Mmm. Definitely hot. And you def definitely taste the curry and some of the spices, but it's not too spicy and not too, too curry, but it smells good. It has a creamy, creamy scent and a creamy taste. Mmm. That was awfully good. Okay, so now let's go for the taste test for Kato or Zoe. Let's see who's here first. Oh, look okay. it. She wins. She's down here. Okay. Zoe, let's see. We'll give you a little piece of the chicken. We'll give you a little piece. She loves it. It passed, it passed the taste test. <laughs> so overall, I mean, from the beginning of this, it was a little surprise that I actually had to go out and actually buy the chicken itself, which was a pain. And you couldn't microwave this and you have to you find a skillet. So it definitely took a, and you have to have oil. So you have to have all, you have to have the oil, the chicken, the skillet to be able to make this. It's definitely um, a little bit more work than expected. But from a taste perspective, if I had to say either heat, 
or don't eat, uh, definitely say heat this. It was it was good. It's going to take you a little bit more time. This really isn't that. I wouldn't call this fast. This in the fast food genre at all, um, just because it took a lot more time to get the prep to get the the materials and then heat it up. Um, there's going to be a little bit more cleaning involved as we have to kind of clean out the pots and everything like that. But um, from a taste perspective, really good. So I'd definitely say heat. If you have the time, it's worth it. Thank you very much for joining us on Frozen or Boxed. Uh, please come back next time to see what the magic cabinet has for us. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.